Hi everyone, today I wanted to do a video to teach you how to upload a SVG into Cricut Design Space. And so to break it down into simple terms, an SVG is a file that stands for Scalable Vector Graphic. So what that means is that when you resize the image in design space it is not going to um, pixelate or distort so on the screen you can see there are 35 websites on this um, sheet of paper where you can obtain free svgs so in order to find this all i did was i searched for um, free SVG files for Cricut website and if you scroll down just a bit you'll see that um, right here is the sheet that I um, selected if you wanted to print it out or save it to your computer so on that website you will see number 32 there's a website called Kahlua Designs and this is one of my absolute favorite websites to go to um, outside of just Googling clip art to upload into Design Space. So I'm going to go ahead and go to that website and then I'm going to click on Free Cut Files. And so if I scroll down, you will see um, that it, a lot of the um, artistry that goes into her um designs is i mean it's really great especially to be free a lot of these are ones that you know you think that you would have to pay for and yet she's offering these free for personal use um, she does have an etsy website if you wanted to purchase it um, but if you're just using this you know for a shirt for yourself or even for a friend um, so long as you're not selling any of this um, these are some really great SVGs. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, select two different SVGs. Um, I'm going to do a simple uh, black, um, you know, one note SVG. And then I'm also going to do a multicolored one. So I'm going to go ahead and the first one that I'm going to click on is you know let's go ahead and do this um, farmer's market so i'm going to double click on it and then i'm going to x out of this and all i need to do for this particular website is i'm going to scroll down right here where it says download if you were going to sell this you could buy it for three dollars um and you would obtain the commercial license but since i'm not doing that i'm just going to click on download and you'll see that it starts downloading at the bottom of the screen and then i'm going to go back and i'm also going to pick um, another image that has multiple colors so let's say i wanted to do this right here i'm going to again find the download button and I'm going to click on it and that will start downloading. So then I'm going to go into Cricut Design Space and I'm going to go to Upload Image, Browse. And if I try to click on the Farmer's Market, you'll see that it says that um, I've selected an unsupported file type. So all I need to do to correct that is open up my um, download folder. I can go to downloads and then I'm going to click on the farmer's market. And I will double click um, on extract all. And then I'm just going to extract it. And I'm going to go back to my downloads and I'm going to do the same for the spring truck. Double click on it. And extract all and so once I've done that you'll see that it creates a second set of folders um, both of these are extracted 
And so you'll see this one has a zipper. Um, so it would be equivalent of saying like, you know, it's zipped up, you can't use it. This one's open, you can. Um, and then I'm going to go back to Cricut Design Space. I'm going to go to Browse and I'm going to find the one that's open. So I'm going to go to the Farmer's Market. And then I'm going to click on the bottom where it says Farmer's Market SVG. And it opens up um, a set of four different file types. So in order to um, upload, you would look for the one that either says SVG or there's one that says Chrome Hotmail document. I'm going to double click on the Chrome one since I don't see one that says SVG. And you'll see that it uploads the image. So the artist has already done all of the work in deleting the background. So I can go ahead and click save. Um, if you wanted to, you could also put tags here. So, you know, maybe you wanted to um, put farmer's market or farm. These are just keywords that will help you find it in the future. Maybe fruits. Um, whatever you wanted to put there. Click on save. And then you'll see it's here in my um, recently uploaded images. I can click on it and insert it into the canvas. And if I were to click make it on this particular image, what you're going to notice is that it is all over the mat. So in order to fix that, I'm going to go ahead and select my image. And I'm going to go ahead and click attach. Once I've done that, if I go to make it, you'll notice that my image is exactly as it should be. And if I were to be... Um, putting this on a t-shirt or any item that I would typically iron. I would want to mirror this image. If you were using permanent vinyl, if you were going to put this on, let's say a piece of glass, you would not need to mirror it. And so then you could just click continue. And you could select your material and go ahead and make this. So I'm going to click cancel on this one. And then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to upload my truck. And so if I go to upload, browse, and then I'm going to go back to my downloads. I'm going to click on the spring truck and then where it says spring truck SVG. And then this one had two different designs. So since there is not SVG listed, I'm going to look for the Chrome Hotmail document. In this case, there are two different ones because again, there were two different designs. So I'm going to go ahead and double click on this one and then click save. And I'm going to insert this one into my canvas. So this one is the same way. Um, if I click on make it, everything is going to be um, not in the correct spot. And so the reason why Cricut does this is um, Cricut is trying to save um, as much vinyl for you as possible. Um, however, if you were actually layering this, this would be quite a headache to try to figure out where all of the puzzle pieces go. So you're going to click cancel. And you are going to go ahead and select all of your light colors and attach them. So really quick, I want to show you if you wanted to size this image, you could just... Um, click on the right hand side and use your arrows or you can unlock it and unlocking it will allow it to go wider as well as longer. 
And so let's say I like this image just like this as this size. Um, something you could do is let's say you did not want the truck to be green. You could click on ungroup. And then you could click on each individual piece. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to um, click on ungroup again. And then I'm going to click on just this top of the truck. So I can go ahead and change this. Let's say I wanted it to be uh, more of a teal color. I could find the color that I like as well as with the bottom of the truck. I could go ahead and change it to teal as well and then change this to the teal. Something else that you may not know about is right here. I can see that there are two different colors of green. So it's pretty faint. Um, you might not be able to see it. Um, however, I can. So if I go to my color sync panel over here, I can actually see here that there are two different colors of green. So let's say I wanted to save on vinyl. I could move all of these green pieces up to this green. And they would all... Um, change to the same color of green as well as if I wanted this flower to be um, pink as well I could actually move the yellow down to pink and now I have two pink flowers instead of a pink and yellow the other thing when I change the truck um, these pieces in between or inside of the letters did not change. So I could go ahead and I could um, find them over here and I can go ahead and change those as well. And so just for the sake of the video, I'm not going to continue to do that. Um, however, one thing I do want to show you is in order for all of the colors to be in the correct spot, you're going to hold down the first item, click on it, and then you're going to hold down the shift button and you'll cl click on everything that is the same color in that image. And you can click attach and then you would just do it with all of the colors of the image. So I'm going to hold down that green and select and then keep selecting all of the green in the image and click attach. I'm going to do the same with the pink in the image and select attach. And I'm going to do it for this um, darker gray color and click attach. And what you'll see is that when I go to make it now, if I look at my truck, all of my pieces are in the correct spot. Same with my uh, leaves. And the same with my truck pieces. So just for the sake of the video, I didn't select every single thing, but for the most part, you can see everything that I selected is all in the um, correct spot minus, you know, these little pieces that I didn't grab. Um, but when you're doing this, obviously you would want to grab everything that's the same color. So if you were content with everything the way that it was, um, you would just click on continue if you didn't need to mirror it. And then you could find your uh, material. 
So if I am cutting heat transfer vinyl or even regular permanent vinyl, I tend to click on permanent vinyl. And then you would load your green vinyl onto your mat. You would press the arrows that are blinking on your maker. And then you would press the flashing cricket button. Once the green is done cutting out, you would unload your mat by pressing the arrows button again. You would load your turquoise onto the mat. And then you would press the flashing C button. And so on and so forth. So hopefully you found this video useful. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. And I will be happy to help you. Have a good night.